In this video, I am going to describe how to use the Accessibility Checker in Word documents. To start the Accessibility Checker, you simply go to File, then Info, and then Check for Issues, and then Check Accessibility. The Accessibility Checker will open a window on the right that includes the inspection results and additional information. In the inspection results, you'll see a list of errors, warnings, and tips. Errors represent barriers to individuals who use access technology and must be fixed. If the errors are not fixed, individuals using access technology will not be able to access all of the information in your document. Warnings represent issues which hinder the document's usability, and though they don't prevent access, they hinder the usability of the information you are presenting. Finally, the items under tips represent features that don't necessarily hinder a person's access or ability to use the document. However, if not fixed, they negatively impact the user experience and ease of use. If all the items under errors, warnings, and tips can be fixed, the user experience of the person using your document with access technologies will approach that of someone who does not use access technology in terms of access, functionality, and user experience. Now that you have the list of errors, warnings, and tips, you may go through the list and address each. You'll notice that when you select an item in the list, Accessibility Checker will take you to the location in the document. At the same time, under additional information, you will be provided information on why to fix the item and how to fix the item. You can then just simply go through the inspection results list in this manner and fix each item following the directions provided under how to fix. This document has five common errors that are important to address. All text for pictures, tables, and screenshots of text. Missing identified header rows and tables. Hyperlinks whose text does not clearly indicate the destination of the hyperlink and skipped heading levels. I will go through the list of items now and correct each item to demonstrate that it can become a fairly quick process to fix the errors and create an accessible document. You'll notice when you're finished that a green check mark will come up under the inspection results indicating no accessibility issues are found. Thanks for watching and thanks for your interest in Access for All.